got knocked on it. Nice and flat. Right, um, I'm on my way, basically I, I was going to go to the Trebiot Hills on my way to um, buy a rock for you know. But um, I spot this on the left hand side, just a little slip road um, on the side of this uh, forest here. I'm not sure what forest it is, um, but I'll find out when I get back home. It'll be above my head as I'm speaking now. Um, I'm with a little fella, he's out with us again, as always. Um, I've got a ton of gear in the back, like I say, I've, I anticipated being out a few days, so I'm prepared. We'll see what happens. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to organise the cluster F of my uh, packed stuff, because it was a bit of a quick pack. And um, see you then. Yeah, before it gets dark, I'm going to show you a little bit around. There's the van there. Obs. There's a little gate there, stopping um, padlock gate. We could go further up, but it's locked. There's a bit of storm iron damage. Ridiculous what it's done like, isn't it? There's a farmhouse down there, um, so I'm not going to... I'll not be zipping about this area with my head torch on later, like, just in case he turfs us off, might be his land. Right, well, decent little find. Two storage boxes there. It's got some storage underneath the bed. It's enough for uh, to get away for a few days, you know. <laughs> but to be honest, if I was willing to have a shower in a waterfall or something, because <laughs> there's no shower facilities in this, and poo in nature, not today anyway. Um, I'll get away for much longer. As long as you've got food, water, and you're warm, what else do you need to survive? So there you go. There's my little new toy. It's a 14-inch um, car TV. I'll show you the remote on the outside. I mean the remote, the aerial. There we go. The backdrop to the sky. Yeah. It's not special, like I got with the um, with the car, but um, when I tried it out last night, I was thinking that mm, might be a bit funny, but no. Um, preview within within minutes of it scanning, uh, so I'm very happy with that. And it was in a bad reception area as well, so let's see um, how this goes because. As you can see, I'm covered in, covered by trees, so it might affect the reception. I do not know. We shall see. I'll be back at you. What a chill drone, eh? Isn't that mint? I'd just like to say, I haven't retired from wild camping. No sirree. Just, yeah, just getting out there and getting a bit more epic getting some locations done, um, getting some challenges in. Um, the predominant, th this is basically a base camp. That'll be a base camp for me while camping. Let's see how I get to where I want to go and it's too late. So I'll just stay in that for the night and then set off early. So yeah, um, but for now I'm, I'm just having a bit of fun with the van, you know what I mean? Doing a bit of van camping. But um, I certainly haven't um, retired from wild camping. I'm going to be I'm going to be at it with a, with a vengeance very soon. So there you go. I'll get organised. Um, get a cup of tea on and that. I've got my wood burning stove as well. I've got two packs of logs. 
and a 10 key bag of, um, I think it's 10 key, 10 kilograms worth of coal. Coal, not dole. <laughs> Aye, anyway, got five litres of water and another two litres in the front. Uh, so I don't think I'll get thirsty. Well, I've advertised it for the bargain price of just £999. Would you take £900? I'd let it go for, for £950. Well, I like it and I don't want to miss out on it, so yeah, I'll do £950. Nice. Chicken curry on the go. Got the wind uh, door open a little bit. Freezing temperatures tonight, like, but uh, I'm pretty wrapped up, so I'm not feeling the cold really. Um, I'm gonna have that chicken with that chip chop curry, kind of styly, tasty, mild. I'm gonna put some peas in it. Yum yum it. I'm starting to think oil in the bag was a bad idea in this weather. You can see that's on full flame now at the minute. It's a new tin. However, it's on minimal flame. I'm probably going to be waiting, what, 10 15 minutes for that? I think what I might do is just cook that up. With some of that sauce um, and have some of them buns with it. I could wait. Plus you've got the drawback of all the steam in the, um, in the van. It's always a bad idea cooking and boiling water in a van. Like. But I've got the door open a little bit. That should sort the job out. Yeah, we're gone. <coughs> I will just wait. It's lovely. It's quite a lot there. That's gonna fuel me up for the night. Mm. It's nice this. Um, I thought it'd be mild would have been <coughs> the Chinese curry, like chip shop style. Sorry about the slurps. Um, it's, it's quite spicy. Um, yeah, I've had less spicier curries that I thought were going to be a lot hotter, but they weren't. Sound like a bit of a waffle laugh. What I'm basically trying to say is this, this curry's nice. It's got just the right kind of spice. And it was worth waiting for. I'm like halfway through it already. I've got a pork pie for later. A couple of beers. After this, I'm gonna sort the dog out and uh, chill out with the new Van TV instant preview. Mm. Die hard with a vengeance. Oh. So we've got Die Hard and his son in this one. I've never seen it like. So here we go. Few snacks. So, uh, oh, this shadow, man. Go away. 
that's better. And some Pringles, some Bickies, popcorn, buns for the morrow, and um, porridge for the morrow, and not some random extras. Coffee. Got one of these collapsible. Um, you can get them at Aldi, you get a pack of four, various sizes. Obviously, this has got vacuum in, so it's not collapsing. We've got coffee in. There you go. Get yourself there and get some. I didn't bring any warm gloves with us. I've just been out taking snaps of the stars. I've had a little bit of a breakthrough um, getting coverage. But um, I've got a problem with the lens. Every time I zoom in on the stars, it looks like a tadpole. Um, no matter how stable the ground is, I'm always getting that. So if there's anyone who's good at uh, cameras, help me avoid that. Ah, oh, it's nice that way. Ideal for a little bath. Good night, folks. I'm going to be probably up early. It's half one now. See you later. Thanks for watching. I think I got to sleep about two. Um, I haven't got a clue what time it is yet. I haven't turned my phone on. Nice. Um, gonna have some bacon and egg sandwiches. Hmm. Yeah, it's a bit nippy. Minus something like there's uh, it's frost everywhere. I've just had a, the police have just been here and I've had zero trouble from them. Basically this guy in a um, grey Ford Cougar, um, oldish, they're looking for him because he's missing. Um, I don't know why he's missing but and why they're looking for him. So it must be serious. Keep my eye out for a Ford Cougar, a grey one. Anyway, I was just having a little mince with a dog. Then um, have his little walk. And then we'll have some bacon sandwiches. Well, this is the end of the day. Beyond there's the farmer's land. Came up here last night there to return. Didn't realise all that ice was there. I just spotted a good place for a camp. Just beyond it. Say about there. 
dog. There's the dog's breakfast. Cooked chicken. Cooked chicken breast. I think he's keen. You're keen, mate. And you know what this is, don't you? I've got him out of his sleeping bag. Look at that. Whoa. Oh, he likes that, doesn't he? Nope. Oh, watch yourself, kid. Spooking his cell, isn't he? He's called Casper, though. <laughs> oh, that's enough for now, kid. I've got to have my breakfast now. Open for condensation. Not sure where I'm going to go now. Apparently, Heart Hope Valley's are. Uh, and our tracks are going to be icy. So I'm going to struggle in this. I've not been a fall before. Um, nice bacon sandwich, like. Can't beat streaky bacon. So, question is, am I going to stop out in the night or not? Decisions. 